everybody. Welcome to the Hallmarkies podcast. And I am film critic Rachel Wagner, and I'm here for a very special interview. We have what I am definitely deeming as the king of Christmas this year. This is very <laughs> exciting. We have actor Kevin McGarry is here. And Kevin, thanks so much for coming on the podcast. Thank you for having me. And thanks for the introduction as the king of Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> 2019. Yes. I mean, it can't right. be denied. Four movies. It's a lot. Yeah. It's, it's a, a lot of Christmas. It's a, it's a lot, lot of Christmas. Of Christmas. Uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing. And so what we like to do for our guests is give you a chance to introduce yourself and tell us what inspired you to become an actor. All right. Well, my name is Kevin McGarry. Uh, I am an actor. And what inspired me to become an actor, I think, you know, it was one of the few things that I was good at. I always, you know, lived in a make-believe world as a kid. And uh, as I got older, I found out that people can get paid money to continue to live in this make-believe world. So uh, I kind of got into that. And uh, it's just, I don't know, something that I've always really loved to do. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm lucky enough that I'm still doing it. Yeah. So did you perform at all when you were growing up or was that something that you did or did you fight I it? I did. Yeah. Yes. No, no. I mean, I did growing up, I did anything I could for attention. <laughs> um, so part of that was usually being in a school play. Uh, mm. I think I was in my first school play in like grade two. Um, I think where I played Santa, oddly enough, where this full circle back to Christmas King 2019. Um, yeah, no, but I played, I played Santa and uh and then what i mean that i just kind of you know did everything yeah. i could i ended up i ended up getting out of a math class early on um in school and found my way into a drama class and i remember just watching in the yeah. background being like oh my god like, these people are they, this is a class people are taking this course <laughs> and and then i uh I, I didn't go back to that math class uh i have a great accountant you know so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I i'm okay that way um <laughs> Yeah, but uh, but yeah, I ended up leaving that math class and going to uh, to uh, to get into the drama class. And then you know after that, I kind of did theater for a little while as part of um, the Shaw Festival Theater in uh, Niagara on the Lake in Canada. Uh, I did a bunch of um, indep independent uh, plays in Toronto, uh, and then I got a series and kind of have been you know kind of sticking into the film and TV world for the next yeah. for the last four or five years. I mean, really, I wanted to ask, do you sleep? So many projects. Standing up, standing up, <laughs> and in between shots is yeah. when I sleep. Um, <laughs> yes, no, of course. I mean, it's uh, yeah. I'm lucky enough that you know there, there was there's there's months off in between some of those projects. Uh -huh. So uh, yeah, but it has been this this year has been a whirlwind. It's just every time I get a uh, some time off, somebody calls and is like, "Hey, you want to be in this Christmas movie? <laughs> hey, we got a great movie for you." And I'm like, "Okay." Yeah. It's been a lot of fun, though. You know, it's been. I, uh, I think you were yeah. in nine projects this year. Was I in nine? How do well, you know that? So, Winter Castle, Winter, Winter Love Story. Uh, Winter Castle was actually so. Oh no! So those are well, both they premiered last year. this year, I should say. So they filmed last they, year. I don't think they did premiere this year, but maybe I don't know. No, we did. I know yeah, it was a Winter Fest movie, both of them. So yeah, oh, you were doubling up. So I almost. You're right. I almost you called right. you the King of Winter. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, I think you qualify. Winter is coming. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, it, <laughs> you're right. I totally forget. Yeah, we shot those at the end of 2018, but you're right. They were part of yeah. Winterfest when they came out yeah. early 2019. Yeah. Wow, you're right. That is a <laughs> lot. Okay, so those two. Then, then yes. what else? And then you were in When Hope Calls. I was, yes, yeah. yes. They, Three they episodes. They had me do a couple of crossovers on that. And I actually, I did a... Um, an episode or like a like a hosting uh episode where i brought everybody into the world of when hope calls uh, yeah yeah. The beginning that, of it. yeah that was actually i mean i was very impressed with when hope calls it was yeah, a lot better than too. i was expecting and, yeah. oh that's yeah. good to hear yeah yeah i think um i i was really i you know going out there and meeting that cast and um i think they built a great set out there and that was a lot of fun to kind of to uh do the introduction uh episode where i kind of got yeah. to walk around and talk to everybody yeah Mm -hmm. Well, and I, I just felt like you never know with streaming, streaming channels, because sometimes it can feel like, okay, we're not, we're not really into this. And so we're kind of dumping it, you know, onto yeah. the streaming, uh, or, as opposed to, or sometimes it can feel like, 
uh, where it's going to be extra hard because we're trying to sell the streaming service. It, it can right. be one way or the other. And so I, I just, I didn't know. And I, I, I was very, I was very impressed with the oh. quality of the, the amount of money that they sunk into clearly yeah. into the production. Yeah. And uh, I thought the, the writing was pretty good and it was yeah, overall yeah. an entertaining series, I think. That's great. I, well, I hope it, uh, hope it goes again next year. I think, uh, mm-hmm. people, I think people really liked it and I think there's a strong possibility. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think everything's still waiting to hear on that, but yeah, it was, um, the same showrunner, uh, Alfonso mm-hmm. as, as, uh, as when calls the heart. So he, uh, yeah, I thought he did a great job on telling those stories mm-hmm. and, you know, starting up that triangle and bringing people in and out and yeah, it was great. So when you got your first role, I think it was on, according to IMDb, it was, uh, was it being Erica? Maybe it was the first. That time. was, yeah. I think yeah. it was, it was very early. I think I did, I did a, this thing called Love Bites, which was a Paul Reiser, um, it was like a micro series. They did like small 15 minute episodes. Um, I don't know if my episode ever saw the light of day, but mm-hmm. I definitely did do um, being Erica. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yes. I, did you just, when you first got that first role, did you just like freak out? You just came, you got really excited. Um, I must <laughs> have, you know, I don't, you know, I remember, I remember certain roles being like, Oh, very, like very, very excited that I was, mm-hmm. that, that I got that. I think I was so new to um, acting in front of a camera. I was just, I think I was more nervous than anything. I remember sitting, I had to do this dinner scene where I, I was playing like the boyfriend of her best friend or whatever. And I think, spoiler alert, things didn't work out between us. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but I remember, you know, sitting at the dining room table with them and I might've had four lines. Like it wasn't, maybe that's generous, maybe three. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just remember, you know, the cameras and the, the boom, and the lights and the, the people and I, I remember being overwhelmed by all of that and yeah. it's so funny juxtaposed to where I am now how I just I don't see that anymore like it's mm-hmm. I I don't take it for granted because I mean all those people are working so hard but it's just it's incredible how years of of working at something like it just it, it narrows my focus to mm-hmm. you know on, on my scene partner and uh but yeah, I just, when you mentioned um, being Erica, I remember all the business that was going on, you know, and just be like, okay, yeah. say my line. She's going to say her line and then I'll say mine and don't, don't look stupid. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't look stupid with my mantra, I think for, for my early career. Yeah. yeah. The podcast is don't sound stupid. That's why I, there luckily you go. I can edit. <laughs> you know, like year eight, you're not going to care. It just go, Now I'm like, who cares if I look stupid or not? Yeah. Editing yeah. will fix it. Yeah. <laughs> That's no, great. That that's funny. I think it would probably be pretty overwhelming. I guess at least you didn't have to be in like you weren't in Christmas Christmas gear in the middle of the summer. <laughs> I've only done one of those where uh-huh. you know they they bring in the the Fake dump snow. trucks of snow and you're just like okay mm-hmm. get the shot now before the snow melts. Um, most of it is yeah it's always been outside in actual snow. Uh-huh. And I think there's, cause yeah. they shoot a lot. Hallmark shoots a lot on the West coast. Yeah. Um, and uh, when they, when the East coast started doing them, I, I remember, I remember hearing that they were like, Oh, you know, the background, the snow looks so real. What are you guys doing? Mm-hmm. Like we're using real snow. Like we're talking yeah. about what are we doing? We're shooting in January. Um, yeah. So I know yeah, I've only done brutal. one of those. Oh, okay. Oh, so you got it's, lucky. I would, I would always prefer, I think shooting in actual, uh weather appropriate like i would rather yeah. shoot a christmas movie in the winter yeah um, i would think so you know because then everybody looks sweaty in the summer and then it's like you've got a secret like you're the you know like, i don't trust that guy he's sweating all the time <laughs> he's gonna tell her something yeah you know well and when Where, you can see the they when you can i've seen enough of these movies that when i can see their breath in the outside yeah. scenes i'm like wow these are right. really dedicated performers <laughs> that's eighty percent of doing these movies is just acting like you're not cold because right. they'll they'll take away all your stuff and then you're in like you know a, a, a small coat that looks nice on you, but it's you know I don't know minus ninety outside and you're just like okay here we yeah go. so yeah once you've mastered that yeah just line up you you'll do a Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. Do you ever feel like you have gotten a role because of your super blue eyes? <laughs> you have the most blue eyes I think I've ever seen. <laughs> 
Oh, thank you. They're fake. I paid a lot of money for them. Um, I'm contacts. legally blind. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, I don't, I'm sure, maybe. I mean, yeah. who knows? It's such a nebulous world out there for casting. I'm sure somebody, that, that might be something yeah. that they're like, oh, we got to get old blue-eyed McGarry. <laughs> In, yeah, uh, so. in the movie, it it, yeah. it works well with the with the lead girl. Um, they, they were I looking for Heartland. They're like, we need like, that's we need we need some piercing blue eyes. Yes. So, yeah, and then yeah, I don't know. I yeah. hope talent is a little bit in there, but maybe it's maybe it's <laughs> just the blue eyes. It's the combined package. Let's be honest. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so your first role for Hallmark was uh, a Science Hill delivered movie. Is that right? It was, yeah. It was. I was yeah. just. I was doing a series in Toronto um, called Open Heart, which is about uh, uh, three levels of doctors in a hospital. We were like, you know, the the residents and then the the, the main doctors, and then some young uh, volunteers. And there was like murder mystery, blah blah blah. And uh, so I just got that. That's my very first series, and we were in. We were. We just finished the first season, the <laughs> first and only season, and. Um, yeah, I got this got this call and asked uh, if I wanted to come and do this science seal deliver thing that shoots in Vancouver, and that was I was like, yeah, of course. And it was it was uh, Martha Williams, I believe, is a showrunner for that, mm-hmm. who did um, mm-hmm. Touch by an Angel, and yep. uh, yeah, I met her, and then I met the, the Postable team, mm-hmm. and I uh, worked with Brooke Nevin, who does a lot of um, Hallmark as well, and she was mm-hmm. a fantastic actress, uh, and she still is. <laughs> she's mm-hmm. I'm sure she's still, and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was just, it, that was, I think I played, uh, uh, we were, I was, I was an Italian guy, which was, that was cool. Uh, and I had to like age up. I think they put like gray in my hair and I was walking with a cane and it was like a flashback to, you know, we, I mean, that was who the character was now, gray with, mm-hmm. with a cane. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, we did some flashback stuff and he was a restaurant tour that's, he was, his wife was a comedian and there was a mix up and mm-hmm. he thought she was cheating on him and mm-hmm. she wasn't. And anyways, they came, the postables came and saved the day, but that was my first kind of intro into the Hallmark world and especially shooting out West too. Mm-hmm. That's a good intro because uh, the Science Hill Delivered movies are some of the best in my opinion. Oh, that's Hallmark, great. Yeah. I, 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 I knew that it was a big deal when I got out there, I saw how, uh, how many people you know the fan base that those movies had and because it it was a series and then it switched when i got out there they just started turning them into uh uh tv movies yeah rather than yep. having a series of them yeah yeah mm-hmm. that's cool uh yeah. so you got the a role in heartland no, no, yeah on for was it three seasons I'm still on it technically. Still, I mean, oh. <laughs> we'll see. I think we wait. What do you know that I don't know? No, uh, no. <laughs> nothing. Is this the way that they're letting me go on this podcast? I wish I had that who much el- power. Who else is listening? Yeah. No, um, uh, um, yes. No, then I got Heartland, um, which was so much fun. I mean, that was mm-hmm. such a great. Uh, I don't think it was the role wasn't meant to be that big. I, I, I don't think at the beginning. I think it was just one of the main girls um found herself single and she was kind of you know going dating some people and I was one of the last people mm-hmm. uh in the episode that she dated and uh and they brought me back yeah. and uh and I think it, she, the character kind of just became a fan favorite and they they um they kept writing me in and they're great people I, I mean just to play a cowboy and learn, I, I didn't know how to ride you know I yeah. lied in the audition I was like oh of course I can't ride, <laughs> you, can't ride. you know and then quickly uh-huh. they like the wranglers out there are actual cowboys so you, there's no you know fooling them and they're like oh this guy can't ride so they ended up taking me out and teaching uh-huh. me and I remember getting up at six in the morning and riding the horses through like the mountains of Alberta and it's just like this is amazing yeah. you know there's no there's no there's, I mean all that stuff that's not acting I just remember we had to herd cattle one time from a field and the whole crew was at the end of the other field and you know and then you drag us yelling out yeah good action and and like we're herding the cattle like there's it's we're doing real cowboy stuff which was, so you were you know, on, and, they didn't have stunt people or that kind of thing they do i mean anytime i'm riding really well there's a stunt guy doing that um but yeah i can ride i mean i think that was a big part too for uh joining when when calls the heart um mm-hmm. just the ease of that i have around horses and i think it's a skill that i've really really enjoyed um 
mm-hmm. picking up in this career. Yeah, it's so your uh, lives paid off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, worked. If, it worked out. Take that. That's the moral of this podcast. Lie, <laughs> and everything will work out. Yeah, yeah, I think that's yeah. good. That's a good Christmas yeah. lesson. <laughs> there you go, kids. Lie, and Santa will come to you. Yeah. So yeah, but that must be fun to kind of play cowboy. Uh, oh, it's the best. Yeah, I have a good time. Um, and the stuff that I learned, like the, the main girl on that show, Amber, she's been on that show. I mean, that's the longest running show in Canada. Uh, mm-hmm. I think if if it goes again, which I think you know everything's, all the seasons are finishing up now, so we're all, we're, mm-hmm. we're waiting to find out. And uh, if it goes again, it'll be fourteen seasons. I mean, right now it's thirteen. That's amazing. Which is, yeah, and incredible, and the fan base has just been with it the whole time, and it's gone up, you know, leaps and valleys, and and uh, yeah, and um, yeah, it's just been uh, oh, sorry, sorry, but the main girl, Amber, she mm-hmm. uh, she basically grew up on that show, and she is that character too. Like she's she taught me how to rope, how to like, you know, rope by rope by mm-hmm. cattle. I remember taking a break in between shots, and she's like, "Hey, you want to learn something?" Yes, and uh, and she showed me how to like you know the you know, those cowboys rope the cattle. It was it was pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah, yeah. I've been I I have not watched any Heartland. I must admit, but oh, uh, no. I'm just too busy watching Hallmark movies. But hopefully, yeah. eventually, I'll be able to catch up to it. A, well, I don't know. The Hallmark has got <laughs> a lot of movies every week. I know. I yeah. <laughs> believe me i know um but uh so yes the first time i noticed you i know you did love at first bark yeah but uh i had first noticed you in a song for christmas and yeah. uh, that one must have been pretty fun that had a, a, a i think a pretty good script by joa yes. birkin and becca tobin i feel yeah. like becca tobin is like this secret uh, hall star like all of her movies have been really fun but she's not one you yeah. like think of first but like the more i thought i was like yeah that was good and that was good and that was good and she, she's she's really good and, yeah, um, yeah she's great <clears throat> so uh yeah i liked that uh that one especially the fact that i thought it was funny that she's her her i think her management and her team are not the best lookers for a person like she's literally like right next door and they're like where is she she's oh, gone yeah, yeah that made me laugh that classic trope with yeah the the bus just takes off and yeah. she's right there yeah um really. but but i mean it'd be yeah, a much short, shorter cute. movie if they were like hey there she is get her right. back on the bus and credits she made it we never met yeah um, so did you play the guitar before or learn to yes. play the guitar for that movie okay. no i yeah i wish you played i played it before i played it before yeah yeah okay and, um <laughs> yeah it was, that was such a fun movie and the director rich Nui too um like it was just that was a lot of fun to work on that one um and they actually mm-hmm. they shot that up where when hope calls is shot very okay. very close to where <laughs> pardon me where they built the town um Cool. And yeah, that was a. I, you're right. I thought I had a great script too. I really mm-hmm. liked uh, the writing. Was saw all of that. And I liked the family aspect too. That she was kind of joining the family. It was more like it was you know, it was still a, a romantic guy girl story. But it, mm-hmm. there was much more, many more people incorporated into the story with uh, with his family yeah. in there and the, his sister and things like that. It, it was cute. And it also made me laugh. Like totally the the it had the uh, the hallmark trope of the girl from the city is like, it's like the way that they were like do you even do you know about christmas trees like they were like, like the people yeah. from the city are like lost their way they need I to know. be told about christmas it yeah. was funny I like i knew it. too much about christmas trees yeah. well, they made the christmas tree i remember doing that scene where like oh, it was a fur and there's a balsam bow. yeah and uh yeah yeah it's good it was a fun movie though yeah, yeah. she's great too beck is really great she's busy right now with uh her her own show, The Lady Gang, which was a oh, podcast yeah. she did, and now uh, now it's turned into a television show for E. That's cool. That I, yeah. I've heard about that. Um, so yes, so then you had some other films, but uh, but Winter Castle, that must have been a cool experience to uh, to shoot in that literally Winter Castle. That was yeah, that was the the big draw. Other than Amelia, she was great. Um, no, she, she was yeah. wonderful. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, that was. It, you know what i will say it lost its charm about 20 minutes in when you're like wow this is really great and then you're just like so this is where we are for 
for the yeah. next week. And, like, this is and it was, it's totally freezing. And um, <laughs> not only that, it was, um, we had to wait until the, the like that, that was an actual hotel uh, in uh-huh. Quebec. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had to wait until their season was over. Uh, we got like, we got one week before they, before they essentially tore it down. And it was starting to warm up outside. So, you know, when everything was quiet, you could hear the hotel dripping. And That's you're like, so is this going to fall? Well, weird, but also like, is this going to like just start coming down while we're inside yeah. it? And um, luckily, you know, no, we made it. But um, <laughs> but it was, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was really cool. I, I Sculptures did have to start coming down, I think. Uh, as the, the more we shot, as the, movie, the more we shot, as the movie went on, yeah, but it was great. Well, we were a little bit, little bit mad at your character though, because we felt like you were very unfair to the other, other woman, the other yeah. lady, Meg- like, Megan. <laughs> yeah, I know, or no, like, should Megan have a shoot? I mean, the, Lana. Yeah, she was kind of yeah. strung along here. <laughs> like you yeah, don't no, invite she somebody. Really, she put up with a lot. <laughs> yeah, you don't invite yeah. somebody like that to, uh, to spend this like big family wedding like that's a big deal that's a big invite that you're just kind of like eh. <laughs> yeah yeah I, i'm not I, that I into her that. i get that maybe yeah. maybe i think maybe he was into her but it was just like when he saw um you know yeah what what is her i can't remember amelia's character's name i uh, yeah i don't know her anyway usually i'm just like her character her character <laughs> but, we yeah, we were like, character. what is he doing inviting this woman to this big event and and he's uh, uh, we are, we i know were well like, i think we he was trying to, to do it he was trying to do it for his daughter that he was like this you know she's the, yeah. his, his daughter really likes her like now but you're right need, you're right not a great move yeah now we need to have the lana movie because she needed she needs yeah, to find the, the, love because it was yeah it was ice, tough. ice castle to the revenge of lana <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right <laughs> i think will be great yeah yeah and then you were in winter love story with jen lily which this is mm-hmm. one of my favorites of the year that was a very cute movie i thought oh that was great yeah and i had such a fun time doing that and the the uh just to be a fantasy writer i think that was funny yeah. a couple of the scenes that we shot and my face was up with like you know the dragon saga or whatever he was writing <laughs> yeah. And I had a book with my, you know, like a book jacket. It was just, uh, yeah, yeah. It was fun. And Jen's great. I mean, she's a pro at, at these. She's been doing them forever. Well, and you um, had that dog, Bungie. Oh yeah, Bungie. That was the yeah, cutest yeah. dog. Yeah, he is my great. number one dog of the whole year. <laughs> All our movies. Was so he was cute. a great dog. I don't think they expected him to be that big when they were first looking for dogs. Yeah. And then he was just so good that they were like, "Oh, we got to use him." <laughs> oh, yeah he was a great dog i loved bungie he was so cute yeah. uh yeah. so let's talk a little well actually no let's do what i call the heart last um but so christmas scavenger hunt you mm-hmm. uh, this was a pretty fun movie i really enjoyed it and we had a lot of fun talking about it because you were the classic what i call i joke that the the men from the city are usually the bad men of business and, yes. the men, and the men in the small town are the man with many jobs and that was totally right. your character but oh, man. i i just kind of died laughing that the, the the any human being could be so invested in the mill museum <laughs> oh he was he was, he was invested very invested in everything it opens yeah. up with him fixing a lady's car right uh, and he's like hey i just say the town handyman the funny thing was <laughs> when we shot that the uh, it opened up in the script that he's like fixing our car and he's like yeah I'm just gonna yeah. do a little check miss Mrs uh, so and so and she's like okay goodbye thanks Dustin <laughs> and she leaves they bring out the car to do that it's an electric car oh and I'm like guys there's no oil in these cars I'm gonna sound like an idiot if I tell her to go put oil in it she's gonna destroy a car and they're like oh, right yeah, I didn't think of that which would have been very funny because it just would have put the tone that Dustin is just this terrible handyman <laughs> that nobody wants to do anything. Yeah. Opens up with a movie and he tells a lady to put oil in her electric car. Yeah. Well, I think he's also not very good at scavenger hunts because they were so leisurely at this scavenger hunt. Yeah, I, was like, I know. I was there like, was... None of these people should go on the Amazing Race because no. they're so slow. <laughs> no, I think I think for, for him, it was more about spending time with yeah. with, with Belinda, not, not so much. Like, I mean, what did they win? We don't even know what they won. 
well, there wasn't it fifty thousand dollars for the mill no. museum or something? No, <laughs> that's, no that's what that's what the old guy gave at the end. I think they they made, but it's like you got to pay to to be in the scavenger hunt. So it's, I mean, the, the two thing, that won just got like I don't know bragging rights, I yeah. guess. So the whole thing was a little shady because both of the Tom Arnold's daughters end up in the scavenger hunt. You're like. Hmm. that's not that's not his daughter that's not supposed to be his daughter it's, what it's i thought just, they were two that's sisters her friend. that's her friend no, it's, that's her friend oh i thought yeah, it was his daughter Tom, that would be oh. weird because then he never really talks to her <laughs> i guess that's true <laughs> <laughs> that could also be a thing though too maybe he is like yeah. neglecting the other <laughs> daughter I thought it was his daughter, but uh, we had John Welch on the podcast because I thought that he was a really good other guy. And oh uh, yeah, as he Logan. played the bat. Yeah, yeah. The, the classic city. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. And I thought it was so funny the fact that they just leave him at the airport, and, <laughs> and he's like, "Didn't you get my itinerary?" And he's, he's like, "Oh, sorry, I didn't have my phone." I'm like, "What?" Yeah. Left. Yeah, he really got the he short left. end of the stick on the, yeah. the uh, on that relationship. You do always <laughs> in, in, in them. You're always like, why are these two people together? What is? <laughs> yeah. You know. Could, it was, yeah. It was really good. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun movie. Uh, I thought it was funny. I thought there was some funny stuff, and Kim's yeah. really funny, and she. I thought she was really quick, and mm -hmm. uh, she, she's a great actress. We yeah. actually worked together on a show called Saving Hope uh, a few years before. Um. Uh, where she played a doctor and I was a patient at the time. Oh, but, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, she was she's, fun. She's, I like her. She's quick. Yeah, she's. Uh, yeah, she's great. She's a great. I hope actor. we get to see more of her. But uh, but then you were in a very corgi Christmas. Which have more I cute was. doggies. I was. I know <laughs> the corgi was the lead. I was. Uh -huh. I was the. I was the supporting cast. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, yeah. I never saw that movie. Did it? What how did, it, did it look all right? What, what uh, yeah, happened? It, it was good. It uh, was a little, uh, I, I don't really like it when these movies uh, kind of demonize someone for working hard. I don't really like that. Um, and I felt like oh, there was a little bit of that here with her character, but I still liked it as a whole and I thought it was Oh, sweet. yes. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. she... Yeah, there was a, like, hey, a, take, take a load off. Play right. with the dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there was a weird scene where she comes into the office uh, and there's this one woman that's working and she's like, don't make the same choices oh, that I've yes. made. You know? I'm yeah. like, oh, that's a little... Right at the end, right yeah, at no. the end when she's like, pick family over career, <laughs> right. which is a nice thing to think of. But you're right, we all need, you know, family needs money. Yeah, sometimes. you have to... So. <laughs> So, it, it, but it was still cute enough. I enjoyed it, uh, and the doggies were super cute. So yes. can't go wrong with that. Yeah, that was an adorable <laughs> little corgi. Yeah, I have a funny picture of him in line. The corgi just like in line at the lunch, uh -huh. uh, the lunch table, just waiting to get fed, hoping that somebody's gonna feed him. It's, yeah, it's a very where, adorable. Where was that one shot? Okay. Uh, that was shot just outside of Toronto, okay. uh, in a town called Port Perry. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, it was really nice. Um, and so then, uh, random acts of Christmas. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and this oh, was man. a cute one. And I was say, like the Batman. Yes, I. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, he. he I. I like you. I mean, I obviously in the one calls the heart. You wear the uniform well, but I liked oh. you as sort of Mr. Executive. Thank good. you. I don't get to play. I, I don't know if it's just like, <laughs> I grew up in the country, so they, I don't know if I have that vibe, but they const I'm usually a cowboy or somebody in the country, so it was kind of nice to be like, oh, I've got a mansion? Oh, yeah. amazing. I've got a butler played by Patrick Duffy? Yeah. It's like, yes, please. Um, I get to drive around, and what was his car? His car was like a Maserati, I think. Like yeah. It was, yeah, it was, it was a pretty, were, that was the one that I was saying that we shot in the summer that they had to dump in snow. Oh, that I was just like, oh, it's so hot. You were a rare, nice man of business. Yeah, so yeah you know, you I was just like the Mr. Deeds. I was the good, Mr. <laughs> I was the nice Batman. Yeah. Uh, it was so, good. But, uh, yeah, it was a fun idea. I mean, it was yeah. different. Nobody's really done something like that. So. I think it was fun. And I, I love Erin. I think she's great. She's great. Yeah, mm -hmm. she put a ball of light. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got to meet her this summer actually because she filmed a movie here in Utah so that was really fun oh, amazing. oh mm -hmm. yes with the yeah. Trevor guy right the blonde guy right yeah, yeah. that was really yeah. fun she's in Winnipeg right now 
Uh, yeah. Oh, she, <laughs> it took a 180 there. Now she's uh, <laughs> knee deep in snow. Yes. Uh, so, okay. Well, let's talk when calls the heart. So okay. were you, were you familiar with the show? Were you, had you seen it at all? Uh, all that? Did you uh, into it? I, no, I was not an avid watcher of it. I mean, uh -huh. I, I knew, <laughs> the only, I knew it because in Canada it would play um, just before Heartland uh -huh. um, on the channel that, that, you know, that Heartland was on. So I'd usually see the end of it, you know, yeah. and I was, yeah, I'd see the mountain. I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this no, must I didn't, have been, I didn't really know. this must have been incredibly overwhelming to come in, not only to come into a show that's established, uh, but to come in after oh, yeah. what had happened with Jack, everybody's all, me. all upset. It was yeah. quite the thing like, to podcast Here's the new guy. About. And they're like, yeah. who's the new, what? What's happening? <laughs> but not only did you have that, but you also had the, the whole delay of, Oh, I know. waiting yeah, for your premiere yes, unexpectedly yes. that must have been nuts yeah you know, it was it's it was i'm yeah it was <laughs> totally coming into it it was weird um i mean that's how, like the audition process was was great i met aaron and i met Lori, and they were both lovely people mm -hmm. and i was like oh i could do it. and you know I, I read with aaron and she's i think she's a very talented actress I was like, yeah, I could work with Erin. She's great. That these people seem lovely. Um, I do the show if they ask me. Mm -hmm. um, again, not fully knowing the huge history of what just went on, um, and then and making jokes like, you know, well, maybe the guy's gonna come back. You know, so maybe I'll only be in it for a little while. And like, oh no, like this is this is a thing now. Like this is this is what's gonna happen. And and then when I got there, I kind of realized, you know, the the. the I yeah. got some pushback, believe like it or not, the trauma. Some fans. Yeah, that were, <laughs> which I get. You know, you get five seasons of two people that you're heavily invested in, and just at the very end, just at the very end, they yeah. get married, which like, oh, finally, and then they kill him to yeah. like the next episode, and then they're like, here's the new guy, and they're like, what? What? <laughs> it's I the the PTSD that some of those fans yeah. probably are still going through. Um. It wasn't pretty. All, <laughs> As no, a podcast, but I can confirm that it was but, tough. <laughs> yeah. but so is life, you know. And yeah. and it is it's the, the show to me. I mean, since I've jo joined, is so much more. You know, it, there's so many more stories happening right now. It, it's mm -hmm. it become such an ensemble show from what, yeah. from what I understand. Um, and you know, like you know, tragedy does happen, and life goes on, and it's become. You know, I know the show's changed a bit, uh, if not a lot. Yeah. Um, but it's it's this anomaly that just keeps going, and people are invested in the town and the people, and and it's it's um it's really nice to be a part. I I've said that I, I did a couple of the they have these conventions. Um, yeah. Every year, have you been to one? I have not. I'd like to. Oh, you should come. Yeah, you should I come. I know. You just throw my name now that you know. Oh. That'll that'll work for the next year. Or I'll so. be like my friend yeah, Kevin. Yeah, just say he said I could come. Yes. Um, All right, it's a deal. Yeah, it'll work. Um, but I I remember being there, and you know, the very first question I got was like, "How does it feel? You know, what are you, you know you coming in and you know replacing?" Well, and I'm like, I'm not replacing anybody. This is just the story's continuing. Mm -hmm. And people would say, how does it feel? And I would say, you know, separate from, from the, the obvious thing that's happening, the character, you know, there's this new character coming on as being a potential love interest. As an actor, it's great to join a project with so many people, like with, with a fan base that cares so much. Yeah. And, you know, I knew that it was going to be a, a blow. I knew that out of Chris and I, who was going to get most of the heat was going to be me, you know, because I'm wearing the, like, it's like, it's not his outfit. That would have been right. worse. It's like, wearing the hey, uniform. not only am I in the new, this is, his. Um, but yeah, like it's, you know, and I knew that I was going to get the, the flag. Um, but I just, I, I feel like as the story goes on and, you know, it changes, it's like, People will will roll with it, and people will, you know, I, I think they do a great job there. I think the stories are great, and I think mm -hmm. uh, people continue to watch the show and love the show. Yeah, but it must have been really strange to like you're ready for the premiere, you're ready, to, you know, you're kind of ready for oh. it, and then 
boom, six weeks yeah. or however long. And that must have been a weird six weeks. Yeah, you know, I had no idea what was going on, too. I think I sure. was down in L.A. for, uh, I think there were some interviews and stuff that I was going to, uh-huh. and I was going to, you know, do before the before the episode dropped. And then they were like, hey, everything's on hold. And, and we didn't know if it was, like, fully gone or what was happening. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, <laughs> you know, maybe that whole year was just for nothing. Like, you know, maybe nobody's going to see any of it um and then you know they went back and did it and and luckily it's still going but yeah what an anomaly of a show that's kind of survived so much and and, and continues to go and the weird thing is the numbers from what i understand were 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 great for last season you know and what alfonso's done with this love triangle is very smart you know Mm -hmm. it's brought a whole new bit of life and the teams team Mm -hmm. lucas team nathan like it's great To, to it, it's it, it's something exciting to watch. Yeah. Like who's gonna who's gonna win this episode, or who's gonna yeah. you know do the right thing? And and coming up, Nathan, like he is not a ladies' man. L- Lucas is uh, Mister Swap. Yeah, Nathan <laughs> cannot get his foot out of his mouth. Oh. Um, but you know he's got his own traits that that keep him in the game. But wow, talking to women is not one of them. <laughs> That's good. I'm excited. Yeah, I yeah. thought they, I, it blew me away. I could not believe how they were able to pull that off with the editing. I, yeah. I, I that was very impressive. And, uh, and I, I agree with you about the season as a whole, felt more like an ensemble series. And I think for the better, I, I yeah. really enjoyed it. And I thought that uh, it, it was just a little bit less repetitive than what we had gotten before uh and mm-hmm. i don't know i liked seeing more of rosemary and and uh, lee and and yes. all the characters i i really i really did enjoy it and so I, I think that's great you must have gotten pretty become pretty good friends with chris mcnally since you were both kind of oh yeah through this <laughs> chris <laughs> chris and kayla too actually kayla wallace who, oh yeah yeah the owner, like i mean because we were the three new people that joined uh-huh. Um, and you'll see her featured much more, I think, in the, in the, in the new season as well. well but I we um, noticed that she's listed as uh, one of the on the poster for the Christmas. Yeah, she's, she's on listed. The poster. Yeah. I was like, wow, okay. Yeah, she's climbing <laughs> the ranks. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, Chris and I uh, got I mean, because we were the new people, so we kind of found solace in, uh-huh. in each other as we were meeting new people, as you know, we're meeting yeah. the cast. But this year sure. has just been great because. Uh, we went down and we did that that uh, Christmas cookie challenge. Yes. I don't know if you know. About yeah, that's this. another thing that you did for I Christmas. Know. So that's number there's, five, baby. There's, there's no doubt that you are the king of Christmas. This this year, 2019. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, even got I'm gonna your try sh- a different holiday next year. Maybe like Halloween yeah. or something. I don't know. Well, they totally um, gave Fall Harvest the, the shaft this year. So next year, yeah, that's yeah. what you should do. <laughs> the king of Fall. I mean, like. Kevin was in like five Groundhog Day movies. I don't know if they're really trying to go that way. Um, well, but th- when we went down to shoot that, um, it was nice because I really didn't know Kevin and Pascal that well because a lot of my uh-huh. stuff didn't, you know, inter- uh, didn't mm-hmm. cross over mm-hmm. with, with their storyline. So I wouldn't see right. them as much on set. Um, so we just all got to know each other. And same, you know, with Paul and uh-huh. Andrea. Um and it was just so much fun. You know, we'd go and we'd shoot that and then we'd all go back to the hotel and have dinner. And, you know, that was kind of our week, week and a half while we, while we did that show. And um, yeah, they're all just such great people. And then this year, they've really gone more into an ensemble, like where more people are, uh-huh. you know, we're, we're all kind okay. of around each other all the time. And um, yeah, it's gotten, it's gotten to be really nice and fun to go to work. Not that it wasn't uh-huh. the first season, but it was, it was something different. You know, it yeah. was, uh, yeah. you, you're trying to figure it out. I, when I join a show, I usually spend the first year being very quiet and kind of watching and, and then, you know, if, if, if I'm invited back for season two, then, uh, or the next season, then I, I tend to get a little bit more personal with a lot of people, but, uh, I've had a lot of fun this season and yeah, we're just finishing up right now. We've got, I think we've got about a week left and then, uh, and yeah. that's it. That's so exciting. Well, t- why don't you tell us a little bit about the upcoming movie, what you can tell and, oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> what's, well, what's really happening well nathan dies no i'm <laughs> kidding i'm kidding it's shocking uh, yeah <laughs> da, da, da. um what can i tell you about it i'm going to see it tonight actually we're that's what I'm oh really to see this thing tonight oh um, that's right yeah they're they're presenting it there for some reason i don't know and i'm uh-huh. going to denver um 
but uh, what is it? so uh, Nathan's so your, story? Your your niece character is very involved yes. in the story, right? Yes, Allie, okay. played by Jada, and uh-huh. um, and she's so she it's kind of her first Christmas in a place that she kind of identifies with as home because she's an army brat and she kind of travels with with me, so. Uh-huh. I'm, I want to make this really special for her. However, at the very beginning of the episode, I end up getting an offer uh, for a promotion that I've been kind of holding out for for a very long time. Uh, and I have to make a decision, you know, if I'm going to stick around or if I'm going to head out. Um, you know, spoiler alert, yeah. I did just say we just finished the, scene, <laughs> the episode. So um, yeah. I don't know how much weight that holds. Uh, but a lot of it is you know, we do pick up a little bit from what happened at the end of uh, season six with that dance. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. There's a little bit of awkwardness between um, between um, Elizabeth Lucas. and Nathan. Oh, yeah, no, uh-huh. Lucas and Elizabeth are great. He, he, <laughs> they dance together. This is, this is yeah. more Nathan being like, No, okay, I just right. figured that Nathan's going to be kind of jealous of Lucas. Oh, yeah. No? Oh, that is yeah. jealous. Jealousy is the main emotion that you're going to see in season <laughs> six from uh, yes. Nathan, he bottles a lot of stuff down. Um, it's, you know, I, one thing that I really do like that I, I think is new in moving forward and with the Nathan and Elizabeth story, especially in season six, is that they're kind of at each other. Like it's, it's, there's a tension that they have that I don't think has been on the show yet where it's almost like, uh, like it's like they, they don't hate each other, but they're just, yeah. they're, they're constantly kind of bickering at each other, but it's yeah. out of a place of like, it's out of a good place. Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. It's, it's, anyways, it's, it's classic. It, it leads to exactly. It's classic a classic trope. trope. Yeah. <laughs> but it, uh, it works really well. And it, it really, from what I understand, hasn't been done too much on, on the show. So it, no. it's nice that, uh, and it's just something different too. Like, I mean, you know, Lucas and Elizabeth, relationship is much different it's he's much like i said more suave and debonair and Mm -hmm. and knows what he's doing and uh and nathan is finding that he needs elizabeth you know but but he's just being like a stubborn man you know like he's he's Mm -hmm. he's trying to figure out the world and think that he that he sometimes he knows best and he he learns a lot i think this season which is kind of really nice to be to, to to be in a seat to have a storyline where your character makes mistakes and grows from them because sometimes you know in these Mm -hmm. movies everything just seems a bit too perfect sometimes yeah and and it's nice that like he does things in this that that end an episode that you're like wow that guy was like that was really mean or that was and then two episodes later is when the um you know the, the the forgiveness comes or the, mm-hmm. the realization that he was wrong and stuff. So it's nice. He's a, he's a bit more flawed and I yeah. like that. It's more fun to play, mm-hmm. you know? So. Yeah. I think especially for a series, like it's one thing to have a, a movie that's, you know, a two hour fluffy fun movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But for a series, you really need, you need to have some flawed characters and some, mm-hmm. you know, growth or, or it's just not going to be that interesting exactly yeah. yeah so you get invested really, in the characters yeah you know and they it's okay to hate a character for a couple episodes and right then, like turn and be like actually <laughs> i was wrong or you know like right. it's yeah so i hope that happens this you know this season and, well and, i'm looking yeah. forward to it for sure well yeah. before we go we have some fun silly questions real quick all right that we like to ask for christmas so oh. first question what is your favorite holiday drink <sighs> uh I mean, I don't know, uh, eggnog, I would say, yeah, you know, and yeah. if you, you build rum in there, it, it gets to be a really good holiday drink, but yeah, eggnog. eggnog. <laughs> okay, good. So the second question is, what is your favorite holiday cookie or treat now that you're a cookie expert? Now that I'm a cookie master yeah. uh, <laughs> and I've, I survived, well, I didn't survive, I, built, I, I made it a long way. Um, I would say my, you know, my mom does these like amazing shortbread that have mm-hmm. kind of been in our family for a very long time. And there's a recipe that, you know, that her yeah. mom had, that her, her mom had. And so when I taste that cookie, I think of Christmas and it's yeah. not like a thing where I could be like, Hey, this is like, it's just like our own personal kind of cookie. Um, mm-hmm. so yeah. Very good. Shortbread. Okay. Sounds yummy. All right. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite Christmas song or carol? <sighs> Grandma got run over by a reindeer. 
yeah i think i don't know uh <laughs> i remember singing that to my grandmother yeah uh when i was a kid thinking yeah. it was hilarious right um i think she thought it was funny too <laughs> i think yeah if not she's a better actor than i am my grandma thought that mo- that song was hilarious yeah <laughs> she, she would she would laugh so yeah. uh i believe her okay so next is uh what is your favorite christmas movie Cla- do you have a classic that you watch that, like oh i mean there are a couple i mean there's every like home alone will be on I'll just yeah. like elf that'll be a big yeah. one but every year um without fail it's we'll watch uh, my mom and i will watch um um it's a wonderful life yeah it's on, on christmas it's Eve, great which is still you yeah. know in store or yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the best okay very yeah. good uh what is your favorite holiday tradition like decorating the tree or building snowmen or just whatever you hmm. find gifts do you have a um well i mean now it's doing christmas movies yeah <laughs> christmas i have movies. to do one every year <laughs> otherwise it doesn't feel like christmas um probably probably the tree i would okay. say you know that always you get the tree in there and then it smells the whole house smells yeah. like sap or whatever and then and then uh yeah and then you decorate it yeah Did the you, tree. do you have a memorable christmas gift that you've either given or received like we're thinking of this question like the red rider bb gun kind of thing that you right. wanted as a kid so I, I think they asked me this on, on that, on the cookie show. Uh huh. And I said, I said my guitar, cause I got it about, yeah. about 19 and I started playing it. Oh. And then my mom saw it. She's like, that's not your favorite one. You <laughs> know when your favorite one is. She that's said funny. it was an Optimus, an Optimus Prime you got when you were a kid. You like, you just lost yeah. your mind over it. <laughs> we've got a video of it. And I was like, okay. So I should say I got this Optimus Prime toy okay. and I like fully went to another planet how excited I was. <laughs> so, well, we yeah. gotta, you gotta side with the mom. I mean, she knows. She just, I just talked to her this morning and she That's said that. So, so I've, I've got to put it out there. And fix it right now. <laughs> it's Optimus Prime. Very good. Which do you prefer Scrooge or the Grinch? <sighs> oh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say, I'll, I'll say Jim Carrey's um, Grinch. The Grinch, and I'll say Michael, Michael Caine's um, uh, Scrooge in The Muppets Christmas Carol. Yeah, very good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, clear lights or colored? Uh, when I was a kid, colored, but now, like, I'm just too classy, so I got to have clear. <laughs> yeah, very you good. Know. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather be in a snowball fight or build a snowman? Snowball fight. Yeah yeah it has to snow yeah. a lot to build a snowman it has to be very yeah thick. it really that's does. true you're right yeah. but actually if it snows a lot you can have a really good snowball fight too because they stick together yes. for a while so that's true yeah. all right all right would you consider yourself a good gift wrapper or not i well <laughs> you know i did for a while and then i met chris mcnally on this show Uh-oh. and this guy is like I was over at his place the other day for, he had like a little rap party for, for some of the cast. And he is, his, he's like an architectural genius. His, <laughs> his design is insane. Like yeah. I thought I was pretty good at, you know, dressing myself and, and, you know, I, I thought I had a bit of flair. I thought I could, you know, not this guy is, he, he is his character. He's amazing. I can't get over. Yes. I want to say yes to you right now, but I know in the back of my head, <laughs> Chris's Chris would be like, yeah, I got Chris McNally back in my head now. So, like, yeah, so, so I'm gonna say medium to, and I'm in okay. the middle somewhere of that question. Like, it doesn't look like I wrapped it in newspaper, and you know, <laughs> but it, yeah, but the edges won't be crisp. Okay, you know, good. It'll, yeah. All right, last question: Do you have All an right. ugly Christmas sweater, and what is it? What does it look like? What's your ugly Christmas oh, sweater? I had. A uh, an ex make me an ugly Christmas sweater. We weren't at the time we were dating. <laughs> yeah. but, um, and it was, I swear I had this somewhere. I still must. And there's like bells hanging off of it. And it's the, she's, she was like a first time sewer as well. So, I mean, it looks amazing. Don't get me wrong. It's something better than I could ever. Do. I mean, Chris might have been able to put together a nice <laughs> cable net, but this, yeah. it, this, it was just so good. And the, the Christmas tree was like crooked on it. And, oh, I must have that's that somewhere funny. still. It was yeah. just so, so good. It didn't even fit. Like it kind of was a crop top because <laughs> um, 
but Even it was better. The, the best, ugliest Christmas sweater I've ever yeah. had. Yeah. Well, congratulations. You passed the test. You, you make uh, Christmas movies. Yes. And you tell Chris McNally that you have been declared the king of Christmas. So I will. I'll say you, you can't can take that away. In. This year, this year you can't take that away. From. <laughs> well, oh, thank man. you so much. This was so much fun thank to talk you. with you. I really appreciate Absolutely. it. And, oh, thank you. And do you have social media you'd like to share? Um, yeah, I, I don't even know what my social media name is. I'm, I am the worst at that. I, I'll post <laughs> pictures every now and then. I think yeah. it's Kevin underscore McGarry underscore W. I'm pretty sure. But you know, okay. I, I've, I've got one of those blue thingies, the checkies. So if you put the in Kevin marks. McGarry, it's probably going to come up. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll have the link in the description. So people make sure they're following you on your social medias. And we're yes. real excited for the new season. We'd love to have you back on once the, oh, yeah, the course. season is underway. That would be really fun. And uh, yeah, good luck with everything. And say hi to the cast for us. And I will. We sure appreciate it. Have a great holiday. Oh, thank you. You too. Okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.